Guys, I, I wanted to match the absolute hotties that are on the screen right now with my red um, uh, hoodie. And we are about to jump into the Christmas update. Now, this is, the I think, the biggest update this game's ever had. I have not tried it yet. I've not even logged in yet. I want to log in live with you. And I just thought this was awesome. The gingerbread man. See, I'm... I, I kind of think that they they were running behind schedule and left this a little bit too late in my opinion um because it's december the 20th now so i'm half expecting this to run into january but i know they've got a seven day login event which is very important but what i'm are that i thought they were going to update the map okay so obviously i went over the bits and pieces that were on the um the facebook yesterday and they were obviously talking about the new event and how to unlock these new characters. So I want to just check if I go into... I wanted to see if they were skins. So they are characters. So if we go into the album, into here, we sh Yeah, there, 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 there. Oh, that is cool. Nah, that is sick. Oh, look at our animations as well. Drawing. Yes. That is sick, guys. That is incredible. Okay, so where's... Where's Terrible Tornado's one? Is she a different character type now? She's a flipping complete type. Alright, that is beautiful. That is unreal. Right, so I know the way to get um Ah, oh, this is <sighs> This is not the best way to start off an update video. This is not the best way at all. I'm about to click on Ali. If that's £25, I'm, I'm jumping out my window. Right, I'm not even wasting time discussing this. That's disgusting. I, just vile. So let's just look at what we get in the free one. Because hopefully that's what people are going to focus on. Um, because, yeah, just, 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 no, you, you don't do that. And they've added a character shard system now as well. So, guys, I'm not going to whinge because this is a whole new battle pass, which means they're going to start to bring this out every single month now. As a fourth... A fourth battle pass. That's nearly £100 a month if you want to get every battle pass. That just makes me feel uneasy. So, it does look like we're going to be able to unlock... Um, Child Emperor, and also get a nice amount of diamonds. All these others are absolutely useless. But it does look like we're going to be able to get decent diamonds, decent rewards. And yeah, I, I mean, I can't really complain. What does this do? Oh yeah, and then if you do this, it looks like you're going to be able to get quite a chunk of upgrading him. So obviously, I don't know how these character shards work. I'd imagine it just means that these 60 are going to instantly unlock one character. And then obviously, you can just buy up the tiers as well, which is mental... But that's fine. Um, daily actress. So that's just doing your daily objectives. You unlock that. So really you can just ignore it. And just get on with the game as you normally would. So that's how you unlock Child Emperor. Pretty upsetting. But there we go. He, he does look awesome. He does look awesome. But like I said pretty upsetting. And a, a bad start to the update. Now let's get into the event. So we've got the Fortune Wheel. Being I guess kind of one of the next events. And this is what annoys me. Because this is where you unlock... Terrible Tornado, the, the Christmas version. And you're very, very <laughs> knocked off of this because you have to pay for it because it's all RNG related. Um, it, oh, the shop. This is a nightmare, guys. So we're looking at 20 quid and you can pick 30 shards. That's not even enough to unlock a character. 20 pound and you don't even get a character. I wanted this to be quite a nice up video, like, yeah, what, bang, a new update coming out. No, everything's money. 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 Money on the, on the shards to get in. Money, money, money. I don't really know what to say. That's actually kind of baffled me a little bit, guys. Um, it's quite cool. That's, that's quite upsetting. So draw a hundred times, you get sixty. So that's enough to unlock her. So as long as you can spin it sixty times, draw unlock her, which is quite cool. 
Um, you can also get a 60 on the wheel spin, which is obviously going to be quite hard, quite rare. And then it's just like one shard and almost pointless. So these log in every day to obtain one. Join the event every 100 diamonds spent on purchase grants one ticket. Okay, that's pretty cool. Join the event every 300 VIP XP earned. Ah. Join the event, obtain one for every year activeness. Activeness, activeness. So you get three a day. Then you just you just get loads of spending. That. Uh. <sighs> I don't have much to say, apart from I'm very annoyed. I'll be doing the first Kiss of Snow on Sunday's livestream, guys. We've obviously got the new character here, and you can get a nice little unlock bonus for her. I am liking the idea of these promotion cards, because I know a lot of people have been asking me um, a lot, when do these promotion cards come out? And obviously, they're starting to come out now. Um, at the moment, the, the only way it seems like you can obtain them is just spending real money. Um, once again... I hope nobody's surprised by that because this is Road to Hero 2. Um, so I hope nobody's surprised by that. Okay, then we've got the Daily Recharge Award. Um, uh, how much is that to recharge by? Because that's quite a good reward because you get a whole character. 1,200 VIP points. That's like £15 a day. You're mental. £20 a day. £20 a day. Okay, and then we've got... So this, this you can't whinge about. This is a nice... Finally, take a breather, guys. <laughs> this is a nice daily sign-in where we're going to get very, very... And we're going to get um, Hellish Blizzard for free in, in seven days. That's one thing that's slightly ups the stakes of this login bonus guys it makes me feel less annoyed by everything and then in here so this, this is quite a in my opinion a curious one because there's arguments here that it's not worth going for the christmas characters because we don't know how you're going to be able to obtain the christmas characters after the event ends so you might be stuck with characters that you can never level up so i'm i'm quite concerned about this type game event because i don't know who i should be using shouldn't be using um let, let's let's do one of these battles anyway and see where we can get to but it really does fall on not knowing who and what we should be using so just, just, use, just try this team. Why not? Did I? I should have moved Hedge Bridge up. Did I move Hedge Bridge up, or did I not? So you can just skip these battles as well, which is really nice because it does allow you to just get through everything really quickly. Because I'm pretty certain before you couldn't skip these. Yeah. So there's almost no excuse for not being able to complete these challenges now because you can literally just skip it and just keep skipping it. Yeah. Look at that. So I'm going to be able to get all my six done, guys, straight away. So, okay, I, I, I'm i not really... I've just got one of each cat, so I'm going to be getting, like, one of every shard. And then towards the end of the event, I can properly bounce in and go, I want to unlock this, I want to unlock this. But I can't knock this contest, guys, because it's just another uh, time to get free stuff. But like, I'm even tempted to buy the 10 drills, so I can put a lot of um, work into um, eyelashes. So, it's curious, but like, I'm not going to think about it for now. I'm just going to make sure that every day I get six of these battles done. So, yeah, there we go. I know that I can push. See, I don't know about upgrading Hellish Blizzard at the moment, guys. And all the Christmas cards. I need to have a think about that. But kind of at the moment, um, I think the drills are going to be what I'm saving up for. So, yeah. So, I'm going to get 20 drills. And that's going to upgrade my characters. Forum vent. Heroes leave their ice festival comments below this post to increase its total comments. Ooh, okay. So if you if you put a little comment in their um, forum, uh, I think it increases the... Here we go.
like, comment. Yes. Spelled wrong. Commented. Great. I've done my part, guys. Make sure you do too. So, yeah, I guess that is... So, we've got the fortune wheel. We've got a new character. Um, a new, Three new characters. A new event, which I'm going to play on my live stream Sunday. Uh, we've got the ice festival sign-in. We've got tight ball games. We've got the road to strong being open every day. And we've obviously got the wheel of fortune. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to save up a load to do the wheel of fortune. Let's spin it once now and see what we get. Well, that was very underwhelming. I thought there might be quite a cool little spin animation, but there wasn't. So I'm just going to keep waiting doing times tens because I feel like that will get my luck up. It won't. It won't at all. I kind of feel like I'll get my luck up. And we've also got a merchant giveaway one here. Conduct recruitments and you get cat shards. So if we can conduct 50 advanced and tight recruitments, I can do 20, 30. So I can actually do 50, which will mean I'll unlock Hellish Blizzard, which is quite nice, actually. Um, and that's kind of just quite lucky that I kind of had summons in the bag but yeah that's very lucky that I was able to do that and obviously then spending all of my tickets and tokens and bits and pieces is going to allow me to get um, a little bit further as well and I've just noticed I've got another drill so I'm going to um, oh I was saving that to uh, shuffle through um, uh, eyelashes when I get there but yeah you know all in all guys oh, we're going to get our update compensation 600 diamonds as well great so there's a huge huge amount of updates here guys huge amount of things to be tackling huge amount of things oh the new snow map looks cool as well so we have a lot to do and it is quite worrying because i've never been this overwhelmed with the game this video i just kind of want to loosely make a um a, you know just a video on the actual update guys and just you know and it's, it's all looking good but there's a lot happening and it is mental. So just all I can, I can't stress enough to you guys, just make sure you do your daily missions every day. Even if that's all you do, even if that's all you do guys, that is the most important thing that, that, that I can get you guys to do. <gasps> oh, we can get Drafty Simon in the guild. Welcome Drafty Simon. Drafty memes with a banner, legend. So yeah, all you do, just make sure you do your daily missions every single day. Every day, pound in on those missions. Bang, 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 guys. Smash into those missions as hard as you can, non-stop. Missions, 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 missions. That is all I can give you advice for. Get your daily missions done. And they've... Oh, they've added... They've added terrible tornado into the shop the, and the road to strong shop have they added new people no they haven't see now now that's overwhelming who to pick i think i'm gonna keep i'm gonna stay loyal to supersonic in there though guys but that is nice because at the end of the day um this might be quite a little controversial thing to say but at the end of the day guys i don't ever really think it's worth starring characters up yes i did i've done terror tornado three times but the actual stars don't seem to be that significant to actually getting a character to mythic so my point there is if you can get okay i am going to obviously star him up now because that makes more sense than continuing terror tornado stars in my opinion because um I've got one spare, so all I need to do is buy one more and I get him up one star, which is nice. I don't have a spare Terrible Tornado, so I'm I, I, that would have to that would cost me three hundred thousand to do that. So yeah, I'd I'd definitely say wait and focus, and try and focus on bringing every character up to Mythic before starring up a single character would be my would be my little word of advice for you, because starring them up is very very sort of in in I can't think of a word. It's not very significant. You know, it is significant. I don't know the word to use. You guys know what I mean. It doesn't do a lot. So it is almost a little bit of a waste doing that. But yeah, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I just want to try and break the update down as quickly as possible. Just my advice for you guys is make sure you just do your daily missions every day. That's going to give you wheel spins. That's going to give you the battle pass. That's going to give you everything. And then obviously make sure you do the um, event as well. Because then you're going to get loads of uh, rewards for that. We can actually take a look and see what we're going to get for those rewards as well, guys. So we can see here. 
five drills. That's brilliant. And um, one of those. 3,000 diamonds in there. I'm going to pick to do some summons and 20 summonings. That's mental. The border, 246, a guaranteed purple character, loads more diamonds as well. So that's actually a very, very good event there with very, very good rewards. So guys, I do hope you've enjoyed today's video. There's going to be lots of exciting Christmas content coming out. There's going to be lots of, ex lots of exciting everything, guys. I cannot wait to bring you videos over this next month. Make sure you're subscribed. Smash that like and subscribe button, guys. And I'll see you beautiful people all in the next one.